Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back as we continue with City Skylines and our challenge to reach a population of 100,000. Today I hope to be able to reach the 70,000 mark. It's at that point we open our final area on the map and we can also place down an international airport. That's one of the items I've not experimented with yet and it comes with the Sunset Harbour DLC. Previously we managed to start drilling for oil in this far corner over here and I want to expand on that area as well. So as you can see we've got a population of just over 66,000 so we need to just top it up a little bit more in order to open another area on the map. One of the problems that I have at the moment is water and I wasn't really happy with the power placement so I need to address that and then it's this area over here which has access to a train line that I want to be expanding a new area of the city on. Okay so first off if we look down here you can see where I've got all of these water intake areas there's so many that it's actually pushed the water back and we're largely not getting any water from these extra ones so I'm just going to delete one of these and we'll address that hopefully the water comes back up and we can also place some more water in text down i'm figuring just here would be a good area the water's clean here there's something you've got to avoid you don't want to be mixing any sewage in with the water otherwise obviously you're going to have a lot of sick citizens so i think a few water intakes down here is going to be plenty enough to keep our citizens going I'm also going to have to address the sewage treatment plants as well. That's something else that we're, we're getting to the point where our city is going to need some more. I'll just get rid of this little building here. That one's gone out of business by the looks of it. What I want to do is I wasn't really happy with the power placement of this fourth updraft tower. And I mentioned putting in a nuclear power plant and I was thinking just over the back where that cargo intake area is. Hang on, let's just come over here, somewhere over here. But in the middle of this giant area here, I was thinking about putting one of the unique factories down. So before we stick the nuclear power plant down, let's just have a look. Now in amongst these factories here, if we come into this menu, unique buildings, now that we're drilling for oil, we've got metal, we're producing plastics and farming, we can now place this building down and make a car manufacturing plant which will be pretty interesting that's going to generate a lot of money for our city and give us a unique industry so now that we've got a few different industries on the go we can place that building down so let's stick the car factory down i'm going to straighten this road off i think perhaps if we give it a warehouse it's quite near the ore industry and of course having this cargo intake here is going to be much easier to get all of the resources we need to complete the cars in from. Okay so let's just curve this road round to meet up with the cargo area. I'm thinking we're going to place a nuclear power plant that should be plenty enough power to power everything that we need for the rest of our city then. So let's just go into warehouses. We can put a large warehouse down here as well. Another place to store the goods that we need to produce the cars with. And finally, even though we're not struggling for power at the moment, I'm going to put a nuclear power plant down here and that's going to be producing more than enough energy for the rest of our expansion for sure. I'm just going to change this to bring in all products only. So it's right next to the car factory and that being combined with the cargo hub hopefully is going to produce lots of unique goods and generate extra money for our city. I'm just going to get rid of that fourth updraft tower. Okay, so let's just get rid of some of this road here and we need to create an intersection 
So we've got a way for everybody to jump off the highway or continue on if they need to. So I think the freeway intersection is going to work quite nicely on this area. And I may need to delete a little bit more of the road in order to place this. Let's just get rid of a little bit more. Try and line it up so it's easier to connect. I think somewhere around here. Then we can just connect the rest of the highway up. That'll do just there. We connect these roads up as straight as we can. We'll adjust them so they look kind of natural. Just need to upgrade that so it's going in the correct direction. So I think rather than expanding on the city that we've got, we need to put down a new area. I'm not quite happy with that there. Looks a little bit too sharp, the turn. So let's just get rid of these areas and just try and curve it so it looks a little bit more natural. And we only need another 4,000 in population to hit the 70,000 mark, which is not a great deal. We could do it in the existing city that we have, but we're going to branch off this way and utilize the area of the map just down here. And I think I'm just going to curve this area as well. Just make that look a little bit more natural. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so I've laid some more roads down. We've got a roundabout coming off the highway. Another avenue just here. Something basic to get me started. I'm going to have to terraform this mountain top here because I'm thinking that's where we're going to place our international airport. There's plenty of space here just off of the highway for it and it's far enough away from what will be a little suburb just down here. So I've also placed a train line that leads off into our main city so I want a little station just in this little suburb here. I've got a selection of different train stations here, multi-platform train station bus metro hub. I think we'll just go for the normal train station somewhere off centre here and then we've got a way for our citizens to commute between the cities and if I just bring this line round to connect up with this one then it doesn't interfere with what will be a joint cargo and passenger line as well. So the train can sort of just pull in, pull out. I'll put another track going out this way. Because I'm sure we're going to build another city in that direction as well. So now that's all connected up. And this track here can lead off into the airport or what will be the airport area. And be used as a cargo airport as well as the international airport. At least that's what I'm thinking. But we need to get up another 4,000 people so let's sort of grid this area out we'll do some two lane roads with trees if I place this road just in front of the train station here it'll create a little zebra crossing for people to cross over right in front of the station it sort of makes sense for it to be here now I want to avoid too many junctions off of the avenue that's often how you can get plenty of traffic build up. So if we come around here, sort of grid this area off and just have the two entrances in off of the avenue. This is going to help traffic flow quite a bit. And I want to utilize as much space as possible. We're going to be building a lot of dense residential in this area. So let's sort of bring this across here. We can put some pathways in as well. Encouraging citizens to walk across the city as well. Okay, yeah, I think that's going to be okay to get us started. And we're definitely going to have to do a little bit of terraforming. We could have another junction coming in off this highway into the city here, but we'll just see how this works out for the time being. 
Not too happy with how the avenue comes in off the roundabout, but we can also change the direction once I've got an idea of where the airport's going. So first of all, let's just connect a line up to, we connect it to this station and then have another line going back. Then they all kind of connect together then. So even though you have to make a stop, it's not one line that comes straight through, it will work out. Okay, we're just about to hit the 70,000 mark. As you can see our train station's working quite well there. And there we go, we've opened up the International Airport and the Cargo Airport Hub. I want to shove both of those buildings down today. And I just want to keep an eye on the death spike that we've just had. We've got a few people dying and you need to be careful when that happens, it can spread. Let's just go to the world map and I'm going to purchase the final tile that we can use on this playthrough. So we're only allowed to unlock nine without mods. So I'm going to purchase this area just here in this corner. And that's going to be as much as we can use or we can expand on. And I've also placed a little bit of industry at the top here, but I'm going to get rid of that, place an airport down. And I just want to keep an eye on this little death spike that we've had because when the graveyards fill up and people start dying, if you don't keep on top of it, it will spread. You can quite easily lose it. Even though we've got more than 6 million in the bank, we can quite easily lose our population. So in order to combat it, let's stick a crematorium down on top of where that dead person was. And hopefully it's going to get rid of some of these red dead marks here. I'm not quite sure as to why we've had a few people die or why we've got some people sick. I've put a hospital in, but as you can see, the longer the hearsts wait, the more the death spike sort of spreads. So hopefully having an extra crematorium down here is going to sort out some of these dead people that we've got here. As you can see, there's three hearsts going around the corner. They're going to come in and pull in and nope they haven't got rid of that person there I suspect that it was a problem with rubbish in our city which is why I've put down some extra rubbish dumps and I'm hoping that we've now got on top of it all okay so it's this area here that I'm thinking about putting the international airport in I'm not quite sure how big it is let's just try and find it so we're on airports here and that's just the normal airport, the normal cargo airport hub. Um, perhaps it's in the other menu at the end. I've not actually used it before. So, us to Metro. Ah, there we are. It's just at the end here. So the international airport. And got the metropolitan airport as well which combines subways, or is it train station, and cargo. So we could have a go at that. I suspect this one might be a little bit too large. I was thinking about putting... Yeah, that's, that's a really, really big area, that one. So I was thinking about using a combination of the international one, which is fairly big in itself, along with the cargo hub. So we're going to have to get rid of some of this industry area that I've just placed down in the corner and rearrange these roads a little bit. So let's get rid of some of that. Have a go at placing that down somewhere around here. So I think that'll work just here. Yeah, okay. So I've got rid of the avenue just for the time being and that is a giant airport. Now, the International Airport also takes on board that you can use a subway. So I'm going to be able to put a subway that connects as another way for people to get into the airport. Again, relieving traffic. And I'm going to rearrange this avenue so it sort of curves out of the way of the airport. Sort of just curve it around this way 
to avoid it and then connect it back up to what I might just actually make as a roundabout as a rather than just a yeah rather than it becoming a highway into an avenue but let's have a little rearrange of these roads and I'm probably going to get rid of some of that industry at the top here as well stick something like that for now Okay, I think I'm happy with the roads the way they are. I've placed down a subway network as well. And I'll just get rid of this building here. Doesn't look like the Hearst managed to pick up the dead people in time. So that building went out of business. But we've managed to put a subway network in now, which all connects up to the airport. And I've turned this roundabout just into a, a roundabout. No highway leading off of it. I've got rid of the industry area, so perhaps here we could shove some hotels in or something. But there is a few more options that we can play around with. and some things we can build with here. So there is like options to put a fire helicopter in and police helicopters. I think they would be quite fitting in and around the airport that we have. So let's see, we could do with the fire helicopter depot. As every time I get a fire in the city, we end up with burning trees and we've got no way to put out the fires. So hopefully having a little helicopter hub down, they'll be able to go out and extinguish the fires. It looks like they're going off to fight some fires now. And uh, it looks like we've got a few dead people around in our cities. We need to keep an eye on that. And just here. Are we emptying this graveyard? Yeah. So as our cemeteries have filled up, we've got nowhere to place the dead bodies. It makes it a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to stop that one from emptying just to help out. And uh, I just need to keep an eye on that. We don't want the population going down. We're trying to reach that 100,000 mark. Okay, so we've got our helicopter port down. Let's have a look. We could probably stick in an air ambulance as well. Medical helicopter deport here. I think that'll fit in quite well next to the airport. And uh, we could also shove in a police helicopter unit as well. Again, I think that looks quite good sat next to the airport there. And we've got no power. Ah, that's because we just... There we go. Connect that all up again. Okay. And we can also put perhaps the police helicopter unit in as well. And then over on this side, I'm hoping we've got enough space to put in a cargo airport as well. So hopefully, we're going to start seeing some planes coming in. And oh, here comes our first plane now. We've got a couple of flights coming into our city. There we go. Now they can just get off at the airport and get onto the subway network. And that all connects up to the train station. Again, relieving plenty of traffic. And uh, traffic is something you really need to keep an eye on in this game. That can be the thing that ends you. So we've got the helicopter depot here. We want the cargo airport hub. Now this can be connected up to our train line and then it acts a little bit like the cargo hub for the seaport. Instead of that they just get on a plane and we can import and export things a lot easier and place that there. I think that works quite nicely just next to the international hub and then that's got a train line and we need to bring our train line up to connect into that hub. So we also, so there we can see the train line just coming out of the side here. Probably going to have to bring that underground. There's no need to carry on the train line in that direction. We just need it coming in. So if we bring that out and just down. And I've got to avoid this subway network that I've put in here. So we're going to have to go a little bit deeper. Okay, I'm happy with that. I've also put down and designated a little bit of 
tourism or some hotels just in the corner here. Now, if I just put a taxi depot down here, we can start using some taxis in our city. And if we just put down some taxi ranks, I was thinking four or five taxi ranks in a line here just in front of the airport. That way anybody getting off the plane can use a taxi, they can use the subway, and they can get in and out to our airport a little bit easier. There's more than one option or one way of getting in and out of our airport. But yeah, I'm really liking that, seems to be working well. We've also got our cargo airport all hooked up, so that's all working nicely as well. And these buildings just here, there should be a bunch of hotels just building up. I know I've put them next to the waste transfer facility, but well, it's just a hotel airport area and there's only a little bit of it. Now perhaps if we put just a little slipway just onto this road here and they can come down and join the highway. There's a roundabout at the bottom as well for the traffic. Okay, so everything's building up nicely. As you can see just over here, I've got a problem with the rubbish and as you guys call it in the US, the garbage, I suppose. But our bin men should be coming around to get the rubbish and hopefully these icons go away because if they don't, that leads to sick people and then eventually dead people. As you can see, they're going away now. Got the bin men coming along to pick it up. And I've also made a city-wide policy of recycling now. So hopefully that's going to reduce the amount of rubbish that we get. It has obviously lost a little bit in taxes. It's going to cost us a little bit more to do the recycling. But all in all, we're going to reduce the amount of trash collectors needed or bin men needed. And as you can see, them icons have now gone away. So that's working fine. And at 72 and a half thousand people, we're pretty much nearing the end of our Skylines challenge. I suspect next week in our final episode, we shall be able to reach the 100,000 mark and expand on the city over the back here. I've already laid in a little bit of infrastructure. Then power signs are actually a subway network that I've already got laid in. So next week, we're going to be concentrating on that area and perhaps our final part of City Skylines. But that's all I've got for this one. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.